Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing radio silence versus your ex. I provide audio coaching for breakup recovery, trying to get an ex back, attracting someone new and life coaching. Visit www.dateme.tips for more details. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. Check out my socials for extra content. The links are in the description. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing radio silence versus your ex. So if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, you have likely heard about no contact. But what about extreme no contact? Vanishing from everywhere as if you've just disappeared. In today's podcast, I'll be discussing three points to consider regarding using radio silence against your ex. So let's get straight into this. And point number one is what is radio silence? Well, there are different interpretations. Depending on who you ask and who you listen to will give you a different perspective. But I want to give you three of the most common concepts which could come under the banner of radio silence. The first of which... So point number one A, you could say, is that you stop contacting your ex and you also make your socials private. Now, you might even potentially block your ex. So in this regard, you've been dumped, you're the dumpy, you're never contacting your ex again unless they contact you first. But on top of that, you have also decided to remove your ex from your socials either by making sure you don't follow them removing their follows, removing the friendship, whatever it may be, making your social media private. And as I also said, some people would also within this actually block their ex. Now, you've got to understand in this regard that you are not disappearing per se, as in your profile would still be active for anybody else who can view it. You are still posting on social media. It's just that from your ex's perspective, they can no longer see anything you're doing or anything you're posting because you've blocked them or maybe you haven't blocked them but you've definitely removed them as a friend or a follower and you've made your profiles private. Now point 1b, the next possibility about what radio silence might constitute as is that you've stopped contacting your ex. So again, you are the dumpy, you've been dumped, you're never contacting your ex again unless they contact you first. But the difference with this concept is that you haven't removed your ex from your socials. The difference is that you have literally stopped posting on your socials. So from your ex's perspective, they can still see all of your social media. They're not blocked. They haven't been removed. They can see anything that anybody else can see. But the difference is you're literally not posting. So in point 1a, you were still posting, but your ex couldn't see it because you had removed them and made a private profile. In perspective 1B, you are still posting on your socials, but your ex can't see anything because you're not posting anything. You know, you're not posting anything at all. Nobody can see anything because there is nothing to see, but your ex hasn't been removed. They can freely go on your profile. Your profile is still public, but there is nothing new to see. So now we're going to consider point 1C and the third possibility of what radio silence could be described as, and this is probably the most extreme version, which is you stop contacting your ex. So if you've been dumped, you never contact them again, unless they contact you first. You also stop posting on social media. So that is similar to point 1B. But here is the extra element of this. You also stop attending any hobbies or activities. So not only are you no longer posting online, but you're also not attending any hobbies or activities, whether this is in the physical world or online. You have literally disappeared. So what this means within yourself is that you're literally staying at home every single day and not showing any sign of your existence. You're not going out to places you used to go unless it is work, for instance. Okay, if you have to go to work, you're still going to work, but you're not going anywhere else. You're not doing anything at all and you are going completely radio silent, not just from your ex, but anybody 
who knew you socially. And that describes the three main possibilities of what radio silence could be described as. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast. Please like this video if you're watching on YouTube. And if you have a new hype feature, please hype this video as well. If you like my content, subscribe to the channel to keep updated. And point number two is how will this affect your ex? So now we're going to go through those three main possibilities and describe how this would actually affect your ex if you used this and implemented it on them. So first of all, the first option of what radio silence could be is that you stop contacting your ex and you make your socials private or you may even block them. Now this will have the effect on your ex that they are going to wonder about you. You know, radio silence as a whole is going to have that effect. It is going to have the effect of making your ex wonder what is it that they're actually doing? What is my dumpy doing? I can't see anymore what's going on. Are they dating someone new? Is that why they've removed me? Are they living their life in a different way? What is going on? So if you decide to use this first option, you don't contact your ex unless they contact you first, you are no longer allowing them to see in what's going on. Yes, it's going to make them wonder about you, but they do still imagine that you're posting online. You're just preventing them from seeing it. Either you've gone as extreme as blocking them, or at least you remove the follows. They can't see it. So along with the fact that they are wondering somewhat about what you're doing, I would also suggest that they are going to be considering to themselves that you are feeling a bit bitter, to say the least, about the breakup. And you might be listening to this and thinking, yeah, that's right. I am bitter. I am angry. I am frustrated. They don't deserve to see what I'm posting. Now, that's absolutely fine. That perspective is yours and yours alone. But if you want to try to get your ex back, you shouldn't be trying to build walls between you. Now, if you feel that your mental health is suffering, then you may have to do this. If you can only get through each day, if you know that you've blocked your ex, then you need to do this. You need to make sure that your mental health is front and center. But the problem with this is if you want to get them back, you're putting up a wall between you. So if you do that, how do you expect your ex to contact you? And maybe you think, well, there's other ways they can contact me. Maybe so. But if you're blocking them or removing them from things, that is not very welcoming. If you're a dumper and you start to change your mind about your dumpy and want to reconnect, which, by the way, the first part of this, not contacting your ex, could definitely draw them in. But if they then find out they're blocked or they can't see your profile, are they really going to find a different way to contact you? Or are they just going to read between the lines and think my dumpy has moved on? So I would suggest this first option of radio silence has some good and has some bad. It's going to draw them in with the wondering about you, but putting up these walls, preventing your ex from reaching out easily, preventing your ex from seeing things, even though they know that you're still posting probably, they can guess that, they feel that it's directed at them, which it is, I think that that is going to have a negative effect. So partly good, partly bad when considering trying to increase the chance of getting your ex back. So now let's consider that second option, which is you stop contacting your ex, but you also stop posting online completely, although your ex can view the fact that you haven't posted anything. You haven't blocked them, you haven't removed them, the profile is still open, but they can see nothing is there. Now, what does this mean? Well, this is definitely going to pull on your ex. You know, they're going to be really wondering what's going off in your world. Now, there might still be a degree of them thinking, okay, are they being negative towards me? But then they will see that your profile is open for anybody to view. You're not blocking them. You're not preventing them from seeing anything. It's just that you've vanished from the online space. This wonder could definitely start to drag your ex inwards into the point where hopefully they want to reach out and say hi. Because if they don't see what's going on, they're going to have to fill in those blanks in their mind with thoughts and feelings just as you're doing probably right now about them. Maybe you don't know what's going on with your ex per dumper and you're imagining all of these things like they're dating someone new and that's exactly what your ex per dumper might start to think if you allow them to view your profile, but there's nothing for them to see. Now, the third option about what radio silence could be deemed as and how your ex is likely to react is when you do all of the things we've already said, but on top of that, you stop attending hobbies and activities. Now, if your ex notices this, well, they're probably going to start feeling a bit worried. Why is my ex dumpy literally vanished? 
maybe they're actually concerned for your health, your welfare, your safety, and they might reach out to you, but not from a place of missing you in regards of romantic attraction, but from a place of concern, worry, and pity. Now, if you want to try to get your ex back, you don't want that perspective. You want your ex for dumper to miss you in a romantic sense, not in a worried sense, not feeling pity towards you, not feeling really concerned for your welfare and contacting the authorities. No, you don't want that. So if your ex for dumper believes that you could be in a very dangerous place in your mindset, even if you think, no, I'm fine, I'm just at home, then this is not going to help you get your ex back. This is just going to cause worry and upset. It's not going to help yourself either, dumpies, living your life the right way. It's going to really affect your mental health over time if you completely withdraw. And even though there is likely to be some wonder, it is very quickly, in my opinion, in your dumpers' perspective, going to turn to worry rather than romantic missing you. Now, if you would like advice and support about how to try and increase the chance of one day getting your ex back, then you may want to consider my audio coaching service where me and you can speak one-on-one -on -one about your unique specific situation. Go to my website www.dateme.tips for more information about how I can become your coach and your teammate via my audio coaching service. Talking about your feelings can also improve your mental health. It helps prevent the buildup of negative emotions, which can lead to stress, anxiety, depression, and even physical health issues. Speak your heart to free your mind. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast. If you feel that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. And point number three is, is there a better way? So in my opinion, none of these versions of Radio Silence are the best option for you. Now maybe the second possibility where you're not contacting your ex, unless they contact you first, you haven't blocked them, you haven't removed them, but you're not posting anything online and they can see that you haven't. However, you're still going to your classes and clubs and groups and activities. If that is what you're doing, that's probably the best option of all of the radio silence options. That second option, that is probably going to give you the biggest chance of success within radio silence, but not the biggest chance within everything you could be doing. So although, as I've said, radio silence, especially that second option, could to some degree be effective, I believe that living a positive life is better. And what I mean by that is not blocking your ex, unless it's affecting your mental health, not preventing them from seeing your socials, certainly not stopping going to your activities, your hobbies, your classes. But what I would suggest is still posting online, if that's what you do, still living your life to the full, and making sure that you have a smile on your face as much and the best of your ability as possible. If you're posting positive things online, that is going to remind your ex of the great person that you are. It's going to lightly draw them in towards you. Because if you don't live your life the right way, if you live your life in a negative sense, that is going to push your ex further away. And if you are not shown anything at all, well, you're not behaving in a negative sense, you could argue, but you're not having the positive. It's like the middle option. It's not the worst thing you could do, but it's certainly not the best. Because if you live your life in a positive way, that will increase the chance of your ex starting to fall in love with you once more. Because if they see positive things, this will encourage them to remember the great parts of you, the great traits of you, the things about you that they loved before, and maybe some new things that they didn't know either. This is why I believe radio silence is, in essence, the middle option. It's not the worst thing you could do, generally speaking. That would be posting negative things online. That would be being negative out in the world. That's the worst thing. Radio silence is in the middle. But the best thing you could do, in my opinion, is living your life in a positive way. Instead of stopping going to classes, groups and clubs, activities and hobbies, instead of stopping doing those things, why don't you go more? Do different things. Have a smile on your face. Live your life to the full. Make new connections. This is going to show you are a dateable option. Other people are likely to want to spend time with you. And that, via social proofing, is very attractive to your ex. Don't underestimate the fact that your ex per dumper will be viewing you in comparison to not just other people that they want to date, but how other people view you. If you are a dateable option in other people's eyes, your ex per dumper is likely to see you 
as a dateable option. They might even start to ask themselves, why did I dump my dumpy when clearly other people want to spend time with them? So instead of stopping going to those classes, groups, clubs, hobbies, activities, instead of stopping that, I do suggest going to even more, making new connections, living your life in a way where not only are you seen out in public, enjoying yourself, but also the byproduct is you are likely to be invited to social events on the back of these activities. If you go to the social events, what's going to happen? There's going to be photos, there's going to be videos, it's going to be posted online. Before you know it, you, friends of friends, anybody who puts these things out there, things can be seen by other people and get back to your ex, which shows you as someone that others want to be with. And hence, this is why I believe that although radio silence can be effective to some degree, in particular the second version I described today, I don't think it's your best option, dumpies. And if you want to give yourself the best chance of getting your ex back, I suggest instead of radio silence, you implement my version of a no contact rule, which also encompasses living your life in a positive way, growing as a person and becoming a version 2.0 of yourself.